Hey, another AAR today, and I am once again playing as USSR. I don't know why it keeps happening. Um, I start off with an EEU safe opening once again. I and it looks like I really needed this hand. I've got lots of twos, CIA, um, not a lot of good stuff, no fours. I'm really forced to try to do a really uh, aggressive gambit here. I start off with socialist government, which gets off. I was afraid of de defectors, but it's all okay. Um, and I managed to coup Italy with China because I'm forced to use it, um, not having a lot of high power cards in my hand and I really wanted to get it off. Um, the opponent puts points into Europe, which is great for me because that means I get to coup Iran and really close them off. And I'm back to nice starting position. I'm back to fighting back for a good starting position. However, I do have a lot of low point cards and CIA is still in my hand. So I really need to try to push for domination in as many territories as possible. And I'm really contesting a lot of the areas right now. Um, Asia gets scored quickly for no real value. Uh, but I do get to get CIA created off because the opponent does not have Fidel. And that removes one of my problems really early. Um, because I started off with an EU safe opening, I get to actually use East European Unrest without too, much, too many drawbacks. And um, I start to focus on the Middle East because I really want to keep it as a Euro Middle East focus this game. Um, probably because uh, he's locked out of Asia. I can probably move to that just a bit later. I see my turn two had a lot of two still. Um, Europe and Middle East scoring. Uh, I get purged and I headline specialist, special relationships because I didn't really have any good headline cards. I did have UN intervention, which I do use for Formosan re resolution. I didn't want, he already had three points in Taiwan. I didn't really want him to get uh, another battleground there free of charge because he's also got the China card there. That would be very powerful. Um, I get a scoring in the Middle East after I coup Iraq just to push the DEF CON down. Um, but he's really, pu um, he's really got a lot of strong cards and he managed to push two points into Iran, opening the gates there. I didn't have the cards to really um, control that area. He drops China card um, to get Afghanistan, Afghanistan and Pakistan, and I'm in a lot of trouble because he can just take the two battlegrounds there and that'll give him domination. Uh, well, enough battlegrounds for domination. I'm forced to decolonization because I'm not afraid of CIA. I get to put it in Africa as well. And I put points into Burma so I can contest India. I use my three-point nuclear test man. I'm still afraid of Indo-Pakistan war. I checked to see if it was still active and because he might have it. Uh, but instead, he just decides to put a lot of points into India. So he managed to get control of it. And I'm looking pretty dire at Asia because he's got domination. And I just used decolonization to uh, put a lot of points into um, Africa. Uh, I do score Europe and the score is at minus 14 because of consecutive Middle East domination and Euro domination. So I'm sitting really pretty here. I draw my hand and I've got Asia scoring. I get into Pakistan war, blockade, comma con. Uh, US Japan mutual defense pack which is uh, decent because I get to, I can score then use it. Uh, but if I score now I'll be suffering from domination. So uh, that's not good and I I really want to build up for potential win turn four because the point score is already at minus 14 or something and i really need to negate that um asia domination loss and so right now in this turn i'm he's over he's overplacing in uh middle east so i wait for a lot a few big cards to drop and then i drop an in the pakistan war which hits which is extremely lucky for me uh, and it prevents domination. Uh, if that didn't happen, I would have possibly just scored Asia um, and probably focus on a more mid mid game win. But locked out, I get Asia at presence and uh, equal each, so that's great. Um, and the scores are at like minus uh, sixteen right now because two points from Defcon control, also from that winning that war. Um, the U.S. gets to capture Nazi scientists, so puts the VV up by two. And I check out my hand, Red Scare, OPEC, Flower Power. I've got OPEC, which is good. That's three points. Um, and I just really need that one point to win. So I, he, we headline, I headline the Purge, and he headlines uh, We Will Bury You, which gives me three points in the next turn. I just need to make up that one point. I go for a Space Race roll, just in case. He tries to steal, steal it before me, because um, that'll give me a win, but um, that's okay, because I have OPEC. Um, 
very quick game sort of everything really went my way and uh, I managed to be very aggressive and spread out really quickly just a bit of luck to help me out uh, thank you very much for listening